Yeah. Yeah. Well, we got to start season 10. That was another thing. Yes. True. Got to get going. Got to get going. Here we All go. All right. So I'm going to drop. Oh, that one. I'm going to drop this off. <clears throat> one. I'm going to drop this off. And then we have no GoPros because they're all dead. This is so typical of being within a few days, or in this case, eight hours, 10 hours of home, is everything's a mess. There's no laundry. The Don't GoPro even batteries think about are dead. Taking a shower. No showers. No propane. No propane. <laughs> Very little food. Oh my God. <laughs> Where'd my head go? <laughs> this is like blow a semi truck over. Kind of wind. Kind of wind. All right, well, how do you think we should proceed? Whew, with caution. We've done a lot to it. We're going to do a lot more. No, really, can you record? <laughs> What are you doing? A fruit stand might be one of our favorite places to visit. No, yeah, and Ted and Nancy's my new favorite fruit stand. <laughs> it was so much fun. So anyway, we were trying to get packed up as quickly as possible. We said, everyone have their mission. Mm -hmm. I'm on the inside, you're on the outside. Caleb's running the dog. Yes. So we're about to make three hours of headway. On our way, we're trying to get up to the 40. The 40 is going to cut across the entire United States for us mm -hmm. and bring us to northern Arizona. That's going to take us a few days. So let's get going. Yes. Right now. What do you got down here? I got fruit produce. galore. Produce. Love produce. Snacks. This, these are our snacks. Nice. Let's do it. So when Trish pulls into Ted and Nancy's produce, she sees the produce and I see only one thing and that was the Peterbilt 379 sitting in the back and I just had to see it. And then it turns out I happened to bump in and had a great conversation with Ted and I said, hey, what are the chances that you could show me your Peterbilt? And he said, let me get the keys. The ball fishing. I just put them fenders in that big light bar on the back. Yeah, that's nice. Just put that on it. What year is it? It's a 03. 03, Peterbilt 379. Yeah, sure. Man, big old chrome stacks. Oh, yeah. And it's two, what's the wheelbase now? 280 two, wheelbase. 280, and you're going 325? 325. I asked him uh, why, and I said, just for the fun of it? He says, yeah, they look better. Yeah. Yeah, all this, it slows down for us. Yeah. And I'm going to scratch it. Then I want to paint it all one pretty dark blue or something. Some yeah. color blue. And then see those the air paint? horns, those air horns, huh? Yeah, you see train, those horns, horns, Caleb? Yeah. train horns. Train horns? Train horns. Yeah. How the paint's doing? Yeah. Now we get all that fixed. Uh, I've got a lot of work to the inside. I put all this chrome new seat. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. We've done a lot to it. We're gonna do a lot more. <laughs> I got a and new step going there tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah, that day of bus. I got and you new... driving this every day, picking up stuff? Not every day, no. Okay. You mind if I get in? No. Okay. I put all these chrome lights up in. Oh yeah. The chrome CB, all this. This is 18 speed? Yeah, 18, yeah. So you get the, the switch on the side and then you get yeah. the, the, you split the gears with this with deep, this guy? Deep, deep production, then you got a deep side, then a high side. Yeah. 18. And you got a full dash. See, I got a, see that piece at the top where the radio yeah. is? Yeah. I got a whole big chrome piece goes across there. Oh yeah. Here's something back to trail I ain't got to put on. I'm gonna try to put it on tomorrow if I can. Yeah. But it's all this right here? Yeah. All this right here will be chrome. Okay. All that, and I'm going to take these out and throw them away. Yeah. Because you don't have to have these to boil with a drop visor. No. So we're going we're gonna to change all that out. This ain't done. This I could have guessed you were over here. <laughs> Where did they go? And then I come around and I see the two stacks, and I was like, I know they're in there. <laughs> yeah, this is Ted. Hi, Ted. How long have you had it? I've had it. I've had trucks all my life and I sold them and quit. I had a gray, a red and gray one like this with some yeah. up you. Yeah. So, so yeah. crazy. Thinking I wanted to get out and then I didn't like that. Yeah. Some people like to fish, huh? Yeah. I just like big trucks. This right here light up orange, all this. Okay. See the light? Yeah. See it up in there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a big LED? Yeah. 
and it'll, it'll make that whole thing light up at night. Oh, that's so fun. Uh, Season 12? <laughs> Come on, you know you want to. You do want to, right? I'm gonna have to keep your hand off the off the horn. <laughs> the whole you already time. keep my hand off the horn. <laughs> I might as well keep it off the chain. Caleb and Charlie are working out some energy. Good. Do we have any idea where we're going tonight? No, let's just put Memphis in and, and then start we'll going there. Start headed up to Memphis. I think we should just stay in Jackson. Um, you know, if I fill the water, we can harvest hose. You want to do that? Sure. Okay. Well, we're already 50% gray, 63% black. So. Oh. Come on, Charlie. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. I'm going to get that out of the way. Okay, you ready? And this. You, ready? you guys you get in. Go, 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 go. Full size truck tire in the middle of the road. Like in the middle of the road. There's nothing I could do but just to go keep it in the middle and I heard it truck went over it just fine but then I heard it bang something on the airstream so I just want to make sure everything's cool down here okay? it looks like it didn't hit anything yeah, do you need anything in there yeah you're it around and then loop around and then we'll go right back up to the entrance and go to the pull through site this is the first RV park we've ever been to that text us the map with how to get to a site. Nice. Probably that there. We're on the Insider Facebook group, and who is it? Michael? Katie. Katie said that they're in Flagstaff right now, bracing for more snow. And I'm like, snow? Because, like, you know, we've been in tank tops and things. <laughs> things. And so I'm like, snow. <laughs> so I hit the weather. It's going to snow tomorrow, 4 p.m. It's not going to stop Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. We're expected to come in, if we keep this pace, Friday which means we might not be able to put the Airstream in front of the cabin. I thought if we came back in mid-March, it would be spring. That's what I thought. I thought we were gonna go to Florida and come back in the spring. I thought so too. We were gonna give it some time to work itself out. Yeah. <laughs> when you yeah. guys are done snowing, <laughs> we'll come back. Hey Canada, your friends are down here and you need to pick them <laughs> up. You need to pick them up. Back to the snow, we're going back to the snow, Charlie. We're going back to the snow. What are you doing? What are you doing? Okay, we only have 123 miles, so should I go there and just get fuel? No, it's not going to be Stay a while. 11 hours. Maybe I will find the words to this. say this time. I'm an honest man, will try and speak That's my mind. It's hard to find your way without a light. All right, y'all, you know where we are. 18 wheelers, buses, and RVs left. Caleb, get the, get the lock cutters. <laughs> get a spoon. Get, get the lock cutters and a spoon. Okay, oil change. Find a sign to tell me where to fly. The birds that soar above don't need a reason why. It's hard to find your way without a light. 
Hey look, a Buckeyes, or Buckies, or Buckeyes as they say in Canada. People seem to like it, but I don't know if I trust a doggone beaver. You ready, Charlie? Let's go to Bucky's, your favorite. just disappeared and then I look further up and there's into concrete Miles, walls. Take exit 60 toward Arnett Road. 800, 800 miles today. Can you believe it? No. That's that, a bit. Feel, oh look, is that the museum? Oh, the RV oh, no, museum. Is RV that? Park. It's an oh. The RV museum is closed right now. Hi, Charlie. You ready to get there, Charlie? Okay, good talk. Ah, uh, good job, Trish. Yes. Yay. What were you saying? Well, excuse me. Hold on. <laughs> Be right back. Okay. <clears throat> Isn't this where the, all the Cadillacs are in the Oh, ground? yeah. And that's why apartment. that's yeah. right there. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was super fun. Yeah. And then um, we would go to the RV park, but or the RV museum, because it looks really cool, but it's closed right now. I know. Not, I mean, obviously right now, because it's 1130 at night. <laughs> <laughs> In? Yeah, I think you're good. Okay, let's go to bed. Do I We're not gonna hook up. We don't need really anything. We're not gonna take showers. We got plenty of power. The only thing I'm gonna do is level front to back. And then we're gonna go to bed. I guess we need air. I think it's just super, super cold. But if we go over to Love's, while they're doing propane, I'll put my gloves on and put air in that tire. Can you sleep there? That guy slept there. Can you see that? It just slides over the grass. I guess we could have done that too, right? Because we didn't hook up at the RV park. I don't think that, is that allowed? Yeah, you can, you can, you can sleep at a truck stop, but the reason we've never done it, mm -hmm. and that one doesn't look so bad, is the semis run their generators all night long. And it's so fumy, and it's so noisy, and trucks are coming in here, and they're getting fuel. Psh, psh. It's just not that enjoyable. But you know, if I was in a pinch, and let's say, let's say hypothetically, you were coming into somewhere like midnight. <laughs> For real, are you ready? Yeah, no, I took the sensor off. Come over here. I said, I guess this is better than changing a tire. This is a lot less effort. There we go. All right. Where's our TPMS now? You have it? Yeah, but we're still at 37 in one of the tires. 37? Oh, it went up to 43. It's gone. It's probably the one I just filled. So just keep. Oh, dude, that's temperature, bro. Aw, oh, man. Ah, oh, eight and a half hours? Continue on I 40 West for 265 miles. Not just a blanket anymore. It's like an anti. It's like a booster. There's road work ahead. There's a three-week delay. You're still on the fastest route. Help! That's a gap. Okay. 
this is what's going on out here. You feel it? Listen to this. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Where'd my hat go? He had to run to go get his hat. <laughs> Arizona! Woohoo! Charlie did? Really did! Oh, it smells nice! Oh, it does smell nice. Oh, what do you think, Charlie? Oh, excited. Charlie! Yay! <laughs> it does feel oh. so good to be home. Okay. Charlie's excited. Um, we have a lot to do though. I mean, I, okay. I either have to, I have to go you get. Just hop back. Okay, sorry. I either have to get propane. Yeah. So we can run the furnace tonight, or I gotta de-winterize the rig. I kind of okay. want to de uh, de-winterize. It's smart. Winterize. Winterize the rig yeah. so that I don't have to <laughs> leave because I don't want to leave. Yeah. No. Wait. No. No. Get. I would get propane. And then go pick up dinner. Yeah. And then pick up dinner because we don't really have much. Oh, you want to go back out in the snow? Yes. Yes, I love the yes, snow. Yes, love, yes. love, love. Yes, I know. Okay. 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 Go outside. Really? You want to go outside? Yes. Is the gate closed? Well, getting out here and doing the beeline, Trisha's infamous beeline, really paid off this time because I think we would have had a problem if we didn't haven't beat this storm. And gotten out here, so oh man, it's dark. Let me turn some lights on here. So now we're all set up in the RV, and we're gonna get it. It's, I've already uh, winterized it. I uh, found out yesterday that companies don't fill propane in inclement weather, so I was unable to get propane. That's a lesson to be an adult and get propane when you can, and not wait until you arrive. I ended up taking the propane from the barbecue just to run the furnace at night because it got down to about 12 degrees. Uh, drained all the water out of the water heater, drained all the water out of the pipes just by turning on the low water points and the fresh water. Put a little antifreeze in the gray and the black tank. Didn't really blow the lines out, didn't fill them with antifreeze. Uh, I think we'll be all right, but we'll find out. Now we're just gonna get organized and get ready for next weekend's big video. Kind of excited to share it with you. So lots to do, lots to Lots to come this uh, upcoming season. Hope you're excited for not only this summer, but spring and summer to remember all sorts of good stuff happening. So we're glad you're here and we'll catch you next Sunday. Waiting and you drive in the dark. Nobody home. Hey, where are you guys headed to? Van Horn, Texas. Van Horn, Texas? Yeah. No kidding. Yeah. You know, I got some relatives up in there. You sure you're not close? Is this a yeah. It's all about getting you where you need to be in life. Yeah. And it all starts at Techno RV. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to your life. And you want it that way. The plan. The plan? I would have no plan. <laughs> no one else built these walls. We'd appear glass. I hear the fall. Perfect. No one else to get my calls. See, that's fixed. Can you see right through? The trades of everybody coming in by ship. Yeah. You have the fort situation. Some people will be like, I've never thrown anything. And okay, slam. here's the introduction. Boom. Pull up. Uh, right up. They're just so, they're experts right from the get-go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we got the good. <laughs> Where'd you come from? <laughs> Water bottle. I wonder if I should go. But you wanted me to stay. 
and this is why I'm sitting on a lounge chair. Oh, oh, oh. oh I guess the wind's going that way. All right, cool. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I felt like it was really sticking it to the man in there. Go With on. my feet up, you know? Yeah, you got him good. Yeah. yeah. One, two, three, four. Oh, yeah, that's good. That's, that's, that's the sound I love. <laughs> <laughs> it's dinner time. It's dinner time. And the faster one chasing her down. Sophie reaches back. What a play! Yeah. 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 You know, um, squatting works better when you squat inside the property, not just outside of the back gate. Even if I wanted to, I could never see through. We have the goods for you. Yes. This tour. is. A gorgeous, gorgeous rig from what I've heard. And right now is the day that I get to go in and explore. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh yeah, it just unlocks. Always a guard dog. Hello, guard dog. No, it's not. <laughs> Ooh. Wow. Off to a rough start. <laughs> I just <laughs> <laughs>